Hi, welcome to Career Campus Pro YouTube channel. Today we are delving into one of the most classic sorting algorithms out there. Yes, the bubble sort. It's simple and it's a great way to understand how sorting works. Bubble sort works by repeatedly stepping through a list, comparing the adjacent elements and swapping them if they are in wrong order. Think of it like the bubbles rising to the surface. The elements bubble up to their correct positions. That's the idea behind the bubble sort. Here is a problem that we are solving today. We have, a, we have an array of certain numbers and our goal is to sort it in the ascending order. To do this, the bubble sort follows three simple steps. That is, first one comparing the adjacent elements. Next is to swap them if they are in wrong order only and repeat until no more swaps are needed. Talking about the performance, bubble sort has a time complexity of order of n square in the average and worst cases. That means it's not the fastest algorithm, but it's great for learning the basics of sorting. And in the best case, when the array is already sorted, it runs in the order of n. Alright, now it's time for visualizing the bubble sort. Watch closely as the algorithm works. Here is our array. 64, 34, 25, 12, 22, 11, and 90. So let's start the first pass. In the first pass, we compare 64 and 34. So they are in wrong order. So let's swap them. Next, we compare 64 and 25. Again, they are in out of order. So swap. So this continues until the largest element 90 bubbles up at the end of the array in the first pass. So further moving on to the second pass, we notice that the largest element 90 is already in its place. So we don't need to check the last element anymore. It's already in the place. So we will check until the second last element. So in the second pass, the second last element, second largest element will be bubbled up. That is the 64 and in the third pass the element 34 occupies its correct position and 25 in the next one 22 12 and 11 and similarly all the elements occupies its correct sorted positions so in each pass the largest subsequent largest element will be bubbled to its correct position so the array will be sorted now let's take a look at the code here is how bubble sort is implemented in python so first we define a function bubble sort that takes an array as an input and then we take we get the length of the array using and assigns len of array next we have two loops the outer loops that runs for each pass through the array and the inner loops compares the adjacent elements and swap them if they are in wrong order. So we use the swapped flag to optimize the algorithm. If no swaps occur during a pass, the array is already sorted and we can break out of the loop early. So that's kind of an optimization. So what did we learn today in the bubble sort? It's a simple algorithm. It's perfect for understanding the basics of sorting. While it's not the most efficient for large data sets, it's a great for small arrays or nearly sorted data. So here is a quick recap. The time complexity. It's order of n square in average and worst cases and order of n in the best case. The space complexity is order of 1 since it's an in-place sorting algorithm. And its key features are it's simple to implement, stable and great for educational purpose and that's it for today's video if you enjoyed this breakdown of bubble sort don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more coding tutorials and algorithm deep dives thank you for watching and happy coding from career campus pro thank you